All right, the question I probably get asked the most by people is, how do I put one picture inside another? Well, it's actually very simple, and I'll show you a couple of different ways of doing it. Here's the first way. I've got my file here, and I come to File, and come down to Place. I pick the picture I want. I'll go for Clone Basics here, and click on Open. You see that little icon I've got? That's Affinity Photo's way of saying, right, drag out where you want it. So let's do that. I'm dragging out, and there's my picture. Simple. As soon as I place it, I get the Move Tool selected. You can see up here, Move Tool. And from here, I can Size. I can Rotate. Let's just Control plus C or Command plus C to undo that. Move it to where I want it. And there we go. OK, here's another way of doing it. Just open up a file. In this case, this is called sponge01.jpg and Control or Command plus A, that selects everything, and Control or Command plus C to copy. Come back to my original file and Control or Command plus V to paste it in place. And again, I've got my Move tool active, so now I can just resize it to where I want it to be. Say around here. And there we go, two different ways, very easy. Okay, so let's get adventurous with this. Supposing I wanted to rotate the photos and supposing I wanted to put a white border on them. Well, the order you would do it in would be the white border first. And here's a very easy way of doing it. Come down to here where it says a rectangle tool. You've got all these different shapes. I'm choosing the rectangle. Come up to one of my images and just drag out a box. You can see I did one earlier. Now for this, you want to make sure you have the right properties. Come up to the top and for the fill, if it's solid, you want to have this. You want to have this white box with a red diagonal stripe on it. That means there's no fill. Look, if I make it solid, well, there's various different shades of gray filling in the center. But if I come to this one here, it's invisible. Now as for the stroke, that's the actual line going around the outside. If I click here, I can choose the color I want by moving these around. I just want a plain white border, so I will hold down Shift and move one of my sliders and the rest all move along with it, like that, so I've got white. And from there, it's simply a matter of selecting how thick I want my line width. Look, there's width. Let's make it thinner, like this. From here, I've got a choice I can have rounded edges like this. I can have square edges. And what I will do, I'll come to my rectangle in my layers palette, and I'm going to drag it underneath there, underneath my clone basic zero one image. That's the image of the little boy crawling on the floor. And let go. And now you can see it's lying underneath. And from here, it's just simply a case of just moving around until I get a nice even border around it. You can see these blue lines that I've got are helping me to get an even border. Now from there, if I want to rotate the picture, well, what I would do in this case would be I would select the rectangle plus the clone basics. So I hold down the shift key to select both layers, right click, and I would group them together. And let's call this upper insert. And from there, if I come back to my move tool, I can rotate both of them together as I see fit. And I could do with that coming over the top of this lower picture. So I just take the entire group and just drag it up the layer stack until it's sitting on top. And there you have it. From there, I can make sure it's selected and I can come to effect. I can come to Outer Shadow. I can play around with the opacity, the radius, the offset. There we go. Now we can see it. And just adjust things to taste. And there you go. Two inset pictures, one with a white border on, both angled together, and with a drop shadow just to make it stand out a little bit. Easiest thing in the world.